Hello my ninjas, this is Sun. So today I'm going to show you how to get this crimped hair with no heat, just with braids, braiding your hair to sleep or a few hours. And I'll show you how to do it with short hair because it is harder to braid your hair and get this look with short hair. So if you want to achieve this hair, then keep on watching. My raw state because it's nighttime and I don't have makeup on, but I'm going to show you how to do this anyways because the best time to um, braid your hair is at night and I'm going to ha show you how to do it with short hair. It's a lot harder with short hair than with long hair because of like the bottom layers and everything. You want to start with um, just wash towel dried hair and my hair is actually like almost 100% dry. You actually kind of want more damp hair than I have now, but that's why I have the spray bottle for and you probably need it anyways. Um, I might just leave my bangs alone. If you want to, you can braid your bangs also. You want to put some argan oil in your hair and you don't have to do this. This is kind of optional, but I just like my hair to be kind of soft after I have washed my hair and this makes it soft. So a little bit goes a long way. Grab a comb and then split it down the middle, split your hair down the middle, and then we're going to split it to both sides. This is going to start to look funny, but I am going to separate my hair into three sections, a bottom one, a middle one, and a top one, and this is so that it's more even and it's easier to do this with short hair because it's really hard to get all the layers together in one braid with short hair. So what I do is I try to split my hair so that I can do the bottom layer first to get your bottle of water and then spray a little bit on um, just the water helps it dry into shape and then what I want to do is I want to grab a little piece here piece of hair right here start French braiding down or you can just Grab it all and do a normal braid. So right here, grab hair from the other side. And then grab hair from this side. And then braid it. Or you can just braid it however you want to. You want to secure it with an elastic band. Of course, you don't want it to fall out, so I have elastic band. You just want to secure. There's your little braid. And then you want to let out the next section by grabbing a smaller piece from the top. Kind of a small section from the top like this. And then form three braids. And then what I do is I cross the middle over and then cross the other one over to form, you know, one braid at first. And then I grab hair from one side and then grab hair from the other side and then start crossing it over again with the middle crossing over. And then I keep on repeating it. I'm guessing this is kind of like a reverse French braid. I'm not 100% sure because I've been doing this since I was little and this is what I've done the, all the time. So you can braid it however you want, a French braid, a Dutch braid, um, as long as it's like kind of like a regular braid as it goes down, as you grab all this hair, then it should work. So when you have all your hair, you want to normally braid it for the crimps to look like the crimps I have. To get dry at the ends, you want to spritz a little water on it and then continue. You can also do this in four sections. You would have, you know, more tighter crimps and if you do it um, in bigger sections, then you have bigger crimps. But it's easier to do um, smaller sections, especially with short hair, because it's easier to gra gather all the hair together. So with this, I'm going to spritz the water on. 
and then start from the top. And then I start braiding down. what one side will look like. I know it kind of looks really weird, but if you're going to sleep or if you have nothing to do, then you can just sleep on this. It's actually pretty comfortable to sleep on. And if you don't have an overnight time to actually do this, you can just leave this in for a few hours and it also, it works also. And I am going to do the other side and then I'll come back and what it'll look like after you are finished. Um, so you just need to leave it overnight or you can leave it for a few hours, whatever your preference is. And every time you do this, it might turn out differently depending on how you braid it. But this is how it looks like. So I'm going to sleep on it and I'll come back and show you the results. This is what your hair should look like after you have taken out your braids the next day. And I actually just curled my bangs. You can see I did not braid my bangs to sleep or for a few hours because I just wanted to curl them and have this look. You can play around with it. I just added a bow and I kind of straightened out some pieces so that it doesn't look so poofy because once you take it out and especially with short hair, it's going to look like lion poofy. So I just straightened some parts so it's less poofy. And, and then I put a little bit of shine spray to it so it doesn't look so dry also. And see, I curl my bangs. You can do whatever you want to your hair. You can put up your bangs also like that. But this is what it turns out to after I am done. Really nice crimped hair if you're going for that look, especially it's really great for the summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Um, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and talk to you guys next time. Bye!